Hey, what's up guys? So today we are going behind the scenes at how I made my previous video. So let's get into it and I will show you how I did it. <laughs> So today I am going to be showing you Titan Speaker Man and how I made it work. So stick around, don't miss it, it's only two minutes long. Let's go! Alright, I hope you enjoyed watching Titan Speaker Man be teleported into via the Ender Pearl and everything that came with it. Now, it looked straightforward as, like, all I did was throw my Ender Pearl and I was inside it. But it's never that simple. Alright, I will show you the steps that I took to get that video. First up, let's jump into our video editing program. Alright, here we are at our video editing program. Now as you can see, I've actually been editing while making this video, which is kind of messing with my brain as well, because I'm like, yeah, it, it's very confusing, but here we go. So here's the clip, that one to two minute clip right there that you watched earlier, and here's what it took to make it. So the timeline up there, that's how long it took. So let's keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. There we go. So it took a total of an hour just to make this one. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to condense this whole piece into like, you know, as small as I can so it's super fast. But you will see how hard it was to do this. And I just got to remember how to condense it. Ah, I found it. Okay, so time stretch. Let's speed this right up as fast as we can and see how much time it saves us. Look at that. Even at its maximum denseness, it's still 14 minutes. So let's have a little snippet. You'll be able to see it on this area here. So let's go. As you can see, I had to do some commands to get everything sorted. And then on top of it, I had to start building, like actually building the area that we are going to be using. So that's what I'm doing right now as I'm building the base for it. And honestly, yeah, that's right. I had to build the entire set by hand. And this doesn't even count the editing side of it because the editing side takes just as long, if not longer. So I'm going to fast forward through this bit. Because as you can see, I'm just building. No one wants to watch me build for 14 minutes and fast forward, do they? But yep, we'll fast forward through it. And there I am, building everything up. They had to build the frames and everything. Just four minutes in still, and we still are going hard on the build. There's the actual character there, which, well, as you know, you can't actually go inside him. But let's continue to speed up. If I can get the Majigger. There we go. So... I'll speed it right up to 8 minutes. I think this is when I was starting to put the details in. Yeah, this is when I was putting the finishing touches in. So remember, I've condensed an hour's worth of work 
into 15 minutes. So yeah, this is me building up the uh, weapon on his chest at the moment. I thought it'd be cool to have it all like futuristic. Now as you can see in the main video, those actually light up and glitter. That's actually a special effect I used. And also had to get a few extra mods to add some, you know, like futuristic components in and all that. And yeah, I just went through this for ages. And look, I barely even finished. But that was the weapons room. So that was, you know, his gun on his chest that shoots that beam. That was what I thought it should look like. Let's continue on a bit further. And I thought because he's a speaker man, there should be heaps of speakers in that weapons room to concentrate the sound into this redstone which blasts out the redstone blocks. I also added in those uh, repeaters, not repeaters, um, I don't remember the name. But I added in those just to give it some lighting effects and stuff. And I thought, you know, well, this is the weapons room, so you need to be cautious in there because it's probably dangerous. Let's keep fast forwarding through it and see what else we did. So we're getting to the end of it, the final touches. And we've got some more speakers that we put in. Some more danger tape and all that. This is the top eye that I'm doing right now. So I thought, you know, adding some vents and some stairs and, you know, just adding things that light up would make it look absolutely awesome. So got to have the red glass because it's got red eyes, the old Titan speaker man. So we did that and I was like, well, it's looking a bit empty. So we need to fill this up with something. So I thought, yep, we'll start off with some more speakers, some drainage just to give it that machinery look. So as you can see, there is a lot of effort that goes into a simple video like this. Uh, these are actually bookshelves, but I thought they kind of resemble like screens and buttons, make it look all robotic. So that's why I use the bookshelves there. And also I had to add two other mods to make this work as well. So I could get enough items to make it kind of, you know, stand out. So I actually, yeah, it was quite hard to do. And then we got to it and I think about here. So I finished up, I got rid of all the items I used to build it, so it didn't look like I built it. Uh, I'm just looking at the finishing touches, making sure everything looks as it should before I actually do the take. Now I'm getting rid of everything, and boom, I look down, and boom, I've just teleported in here with the ender pearl. And I'm shocked, I'm looking around, it's like, what is in this thing? Look, we've got computers, we've got all sorts of things. And then it's like, oh, should I go downstairs? Why not? It just warns me not to with traffic cones and caution tape. And so I go down. Why wouldn't you? And anyway, so we have a look around and then we teleport out. All right, guys. So that is a peek into how much it actually takes to make these types of videos. If you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button. Also, drop me a comment. Tell me if you want to see the editing process because that's a whole nother deal that takes ages so yeah drop a comment let me know if you want to see that and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos i'll see you later everybody have a good one